Welcome back, my shiny bright rainbows, as we are back at it for another episode of The Sims 4. We got our lovely pooch, Miss Matilda, there, checking on us, making sure that everything's going all right. But in this episode, if you didn't miss it from the last time, Miss Pearl is going to be aging up. She's going to be getting a little bit older and kind of, you know, taking on that family responsibility of moving on up and taking care of the youngest. Because every single time one of the family members gets older, they think they can do it better. And that's not going to change with Pearl. So let's get into this episode, baby, and see what's going on and see if Pearl's going to have a good aging up day. She's going to have to go to school, and when she comes back from school, we're going to have a nice birthday cake ready for her. But guess what? She's probably going to celebrate it by herself, because, I mean, Ernest here is going to be at work, so. Oh, it's his day off, actually, so perfect! Ernest is going to have a little day off there. He's going to clean up the house, get it all ready, and, like, you know, invite the family over to celebrate! As the kids are up bright and early. Let's get you to clean up the house, actually, because Ernie J. Ernest there is still sleeping. You're hungry. You are gonna have some cake. Why not have some cake? I mean, we're gonna be getting some cake pretty soon here. What time does school actually start? Two hours. So let's see if we can actually have some fun. Put that in your inventory. Oh, Miss Pearl's playing on her phone. She's talking to all her friends and family because she's getting excited because she's going to be an adult soon. Well, I keep saying adult, but she definitely ain't going to be an adult. She is going to be... Let's draw some shapes. She's going to be herself 18, which is fine. Because what are we? We're just a young adult, right? I'm forgetting what's all going on with Mafia. Yeah, young adult. So you're just going to be a teen. And then as soon as you become a young adult, that's just going to be kind of like this series. Like, just keep plopping it through, you know? But it's going to kind of end with Tevin, though, which I think is kind of a good direction to flow. Like, the eldest of the younger is going to take care of the youngest, move out into a new household, think they can do it better. And then the youngest of the youngest, which is Tevin, because it's going to be Ain't No More Children, uh, is going to think that he... Oh, I'm gonna have a nice little family to himself, but we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, we're just gonna play. We're just gonna have some fun, and you just got all these dirty dishes out of nowhere. That worked out. Like this music. Really want a pet, but I feel like it's just not gonna work out for us having a pet. When you wake up, you need to actually cook a proper meal. You're gonna have some eggs party size, and then after that, we're gonna get you to cook a cake right away as well and what's going on with you why are you getting so angry just go use the washroom you're in the bathroom pearl pearl get over yourself what is this get to know Ernest. oh you want to get to know your big brother do you know do but do you 10 more minutes and school starts kitties school starting time to get up and go to school have a good day at school, little kitties. You can do it. You can do it. Have a good day at school. Don't mind me. I like to take tons of screenshots. You never know what's going to be good for a picture. Woo, the pink bib. Pearl is sitting next to a new kid at lunch when she spots something pink in his lunch bag. Is that a bib? Oh, the kid smells never seen Kansas City guys. Baby sister's lunch again. Then the bib falls out where everyone can see it. Pick it up or just ignore it. Aww. Pearl places her shoe carefully over the bib and grabs it when no one is looking. The new kid is so relieved and grateful. He gives her his teething... Her teething biscuits as a thank you. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, make friends. I want you guys to have some friends in your inventory. I don't think we've ever really done that where we met anyone new from school. Yeah, none of you really met anyone in school, so maybe that will help. We shall see. You got a lot going on there, Tevin, though. All right, Ernest, the day is here. You have to get excited, okay? Can we throw a party with our cell? Cellular device, plan a social event. Perfect. All right, get to cooking, Ernest. 
We are all excited for the next adventures that are gonna happen. We are in the recipe for a blackened omelet. I don't know about you guys, but a blackened omelet does not sound good. Anything blackened, unless it's like blackened chicken because we're using spices, it's not good. So let's put this. Oh, 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 okay, okay. We're gonna have a birthday party. Um, select a bed. Oh, you're not having a birth. Ugh, this is not working out. Okay, whatever. We're just goes. canceling this all together. Right, cool. Let's put you. No? Okay, then. Let's make this cake. <laughs> You are like a master chef here, you know. You should be able to make a beautiful candle. Now, let's gonna put some birthday candles on it. Okay, fine. Okay. Let's put birthday candles on it here. There we go. Perfect. So, birthday cake is ready. I really wanted to... How about... Kids are home from school in, like, what? Three minutes? Fifteen minutes? So, let's just use our phone. And we're just going to invite to hang out at current lot. So we're gonna bring mother. And we are gonna bring your brother and your sister. And we don't really know who these people are, so or at least remember. So there. We're gonna bring the whole family over for a big party! Dark. Yeah, new ah, and after we're gonna put up this music. Train station to hip hop. Here, more choices. I want like pop. Take a pop. Yay! The party started. This is your party. Yay! And you are not really doing very good, but you're gonna go here and blow out your candles. What do you need? You don't really need anything. So, boom. Yes, happy birthday, girl. Yes, blow out those candles, because you're about to grow up. All right. Aw, the gloomy trait. And that's because everyone in your family is sad that no one helps them age up. But you know what? Let's see. You are going to have the love trait. No, with family trait. Everyone's going to have that family trait, because you want to do well with a successful lineage and raise your family. But we'll just randomize. Oh, a cat lover. We talked about what? Hey, you got cat ears. Now that, my friend, is cute. We are going to kind of do some modifications here. He's like not really impressed, but. Okay. Modifying cats. Let's just take a look at Pearl, see what she's got going on. Why is that like? Ah, oh, you have cat. Oh, your hair, your shaggy, shaggy, shaggy hair. Oh, I don't know if I can handle it. Oh my goodness. But anyways, okay. Let's just let's just start off with some really cute outfits. You are a teen. Right? Right? Yeah. Okay. You're a teen. So let's just have some fun. And let's just be a little bit more like Cray Cray. Let's make sure you still have the same kind of green eyes. Your eyes change. Why did they change their eyes? I don't remember what color eyes they were. Blue. Wonder if we go down one and if that doesn't even get on. Let's try. Of course, it doesn't keep anything. Those brownish. Both <laughs> scoofa. I think we had the same eyes. Maybe I didn't even actually look at what your eyes were, so maybe they were brown. I don't even remember. Let's just leave it the same. Whatever. They were like that. Maybe they were brown. I can't remember because I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god, I'm a horrible person. And this changed. So let's go back to family. 
anywhere I can have her, so... There we go. Don't want to change things too much, because then that's where it gets a little bit crazy. Well, that's a cute little active shirt, but let's get this is what our active wear. I'm gonna put on... I don't know why, but I'm really vibing on... That's actually really ugly. Okay, that's fine. I don't got a lot of crazy outfits, so... Hmm. And two bodies and That's how we change any of that. Oh, actually, you know what? I love uh, this. Uh, How about? Uh, yeah, oh, she does too. Go, Pearl, go. Pearl's gonna be like my favorite then. Okay, I really like this top though when I saw it. So let's just see, because you are now kind of a adventurous girl. The white one's good. And then, you know, I'm not too mad about this. Do we have some colors that are at least gonna go with the full outfit. Blue. Yeah, that works. I really don't know if I... But you know, you're a cat lover. You came with the little bandana, so I don't want to actually remove it. But it looks like that's your hair. Like, I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice if I want to leave it, because it's not like a little accessory piece. Oh, I keep that red hair, though. I quite like this little hair on her. Little half pony. We could go really light though. That still keeps the hair better than like these ones did with the red. I quite like the brighter red. That's cute. Rose. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's fine. Okay, okay, girl. <clears throat> I'm loving this. Oh, your party outfit, though. No. We can kind of have a similar... At least that goes better together with the top. Not that I like it. Oh, I need to like download a whole bunch of really fun outfits. Mm -hmm. Cause clearly, I don't have any. Well, just sort of keep that for now. And your sleepwear is horrible. You're still like a young girl, so I don't want to go too crazy with your outfit. In terms of nighttime. Like, this is really cute, though. I feel like that's something you would totally wear. Not that fun. Okay. That's enough. I think that's enough in terms of that. I like her new hair. I'm not going to change her skin tone at all. Of course not. I wouldn't mind, just for fun, seeing what one of our stuff does to her. Yeah, like, look at that. That just adds... I've always really liked this one, the Maya skin. Just adds a tad of realism. Doesn't really change her look too much. But just makes it look just enough more of a real human. I like it. I like that one. And makeup. Hmm. I don't need stuff for when she's... Huh. When you're actually, like, everyday wear, it just needs to be simple, little makeup. Oh, that's... Ah, oh, look at my girl growing up! Oh, yeah. Just a light little touch. This is your party look. So you can go a little bit more vivacious. Doctor colors. And we where did that go? A boo. Your party look. Things gonna look really nice with the. Don't need 
not make a bond for that already. Big, big boy, yes. See, I'm not, like, these outfits I'm not going to be using that much, so I'm totally fine with, um, oh, you're so good. Super pretty. You changed, girl. You changed good. This is why I love doing, um, using cam modification, because it's just so much fun. A little bit of freckles. Heck yeah. Smidge, though. Just the one. I like the one. And then, that's good. I'm happy with this. You know, you had a little quick birthday party, you aged up, and you're beautiful, girl. You're gonna control this house. You are gonna. Aw, oh, she even loves how she looks. Taking herself a nice little selfie celebration. I love the red hair. Yeah, I'm so glad I went with this color for the hair. Yes. Party it up. It's your birthday. Party it up. It is your birthday party. You need to have fun. Aw, oh, poor mama's getting old. A meepy blofa? Oh, How old is she? 25 days left. Five children. <laughs> She's a champion gamer. She really cared about her career. Aw, oh, I like our little family. It's so sad that we're kind of separated. But that's okay. I really, even though you're having a party for yourself, I really think you need to have a shower. <laughs> yeah, I do. You're gonna play some games. Birth everyone should have some birthday cake. I'm excited, you know. I'm excited for our new little kind of adventures. This is like where the part gets really exciting and Sims is when like people grow up and develop into people that you didn't even know because wait till Tevin grows up. Tevin's gonna be such a little cutie and by the time Tevin grows up, I think what we'll do is we'll age up Pearl one more time and then the two of them can move out and start their life together. It's very quick transitions, but hey. Why not? Because this is like, like I said, this is the flow that we're doing with this family. We're just learning, we're playing, we're having some fun. And not that I'm getting bored quickly of stuff, but like, I'm trying to like direct it into like a family lineage and then go into playing like one character. And that's what I wanted to do with Ernest, but then I kind of. As I play these games, my brain changes in what I want to do, so like, I'm excited that, um, Pearl aged out to be so pretty, and I really want to play with Tevin, but, like, maybe Pearl will play with somebody else, and Tevin will play with somebody else in his little fame, we'll just kind of have fun watching both of them grow up. Make some split series of it, who knows? You got lots of avenues to take, so, that is one thing. <laughs> But, Ernest, you're having fun, which is good. You just had a quick shower, which you needed. Just say hi to mom. Go say hi to mom. Say hi to your family, your brothers. Esther, show off your outfit to your new brother. Well, not new brother, but to your brother. Oh, everyone's talking together. It's so good. Having a little family reunion. I love it. <laughs> yes. Family reunion. And another thing too, like you don't really know where your family's gonna go, how everyone's gonna do, like everything in between. And like, we have this gorgeous girl, Pearl, who's just looking fierce with her bright orange hair. And I would have never really created a character just right away in cast like this. So, I mean, I'm excited. Apparently we are serving um, eggs and toast for our party because that's what Ernest made. Even though we were kind of excited to see what Ernest's career was going to take us. And have plants and whatnot, but we might just all be pinging good friends nice with Cleo. Nothing needs any attention. That's good. 
<laughs> All right, everyone's having a good time. That's dance. I'm excited for this family. You know, I'm excited to see where things are gonna go. Every episode, you'll probably hear me talking about what I want to do with them and where I want to change them, and then I probably change it in the next one. But hey, they're fun. They're awesome. And why are you angry? Be mean to someone. Oh my goodness. Yeah, grumpy little guy. <gasps> Cleo. Mm -hmm. Cleo, Cleo, Cleo. Well, that is not where we want to play. That is not how we want it to be. You wrecking up our house. Why you gotta do stuff like that? Come on. Having a family dinner. Family. You're still dancing. Oh, Cleo's dancing. Yes, go Cleo. Go Cleo. She's like, does a two second dance. She's like, okay, bye. Wow. Wow. Rude. Going on. Oh, mom's gone too. Bye, mom. Cleo's gone. Mom's gone. Everyone is getting out of here. Oh, is Lane gone too? Yep, Lane's gonna go. Oh, well, it's just us again. What a great little party we had for Pearl. I am so excited for her. You know, she's moving on good with her life. Like, it's good for her. You know, like, Pearl is moving up. She's getting older. She got herself some gorgeous hair. Gorgeous color, let me tell ya. But you know what? Who knows what's gonna happen next? Because I don't even know. Because I like to change it left, right, and center. Maybe that doesn't work for it. But you know what? Right now, it works. So, stay tuned for the next episode and see what happens in the family with Ernest, Tevin, and Pearl. All right, my rainbows. We catch you next time. Bye.